What's up, rock stars? <gasps> my life is nuts right now. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy Ferguson. I'm a self-love and relationship coach, and I am moving in a very short time, and my life is a little nuts right now. My partner was in visiting, and we were just like trying to soak each other up. I just like could not be bothered. <laughs> to make a structured video for you guys. So this video is gonna be a little shorter than normal. It's gonna be a bit of a rant. It's not gonna be scripted and we're just gonna see what happens. A couple years ago, no, maybe a year ago, I stumbled across this tweet that somebody had like, you know, Instagrammed like a screenshot of the, okay. And it floated back into my Instagram feed a couple days ago. I'm not familiar with this woman. She's an author. Um, this is the only thing that I've ever read of hers. I kind of scrolled her profile. She seems pretty awesome. And it says, don't let this tainted self love trend have you 50 and alone because you walked away from everything that didn't serve you instead of learning conflict resolution. Boom. Okay, this is important. It's important and I wanna rant about it because I felt this, I feel this really often in my life, but I felt it really strongly this week. So just a couple nights ago, my partner and I had a conflict of sorts. It wasn't heated, it wasn't crazy, it was a moment where I felt like I wanted him to step toward me and he felt like he wasn't sure how to do that basically. This thing that happened in our relationship that previously would have like totally destroyed our time together, at least for that night, if not into the next day or into the next week, was this catalyst for this incredibly beautiful, provocative, just intense, but also very, very loving conversation. And this conversation would not have happened and it never used to happen in my relationship. I didn't have any real solid communication strategies. I had no idea what self-love actually meant. And I did walk away from like a lot of things. I broke up with the same guys over and over and over. And in my married life years ago, this conversation would have dictated the, you know, our the next foreseeable future for us it would have added to resentments that were already happening. It would have added to confusion and this idea that we couldn't give each other what we needed, which was a whole other thing. Let's talk about this idea of walking away, you know, based on this idea of self-love, right? Because the reality is, is that the real growth comes from those moments that are hard and uncomfortable there's this part of us that is like longing to be expressed. And sometimes we don't even always know how to express that. Sometimes we feel like we're expressing it. I don't even know what I wanna say. What do I wanna say? You're in an abusive relationship. First of all, get out, find a way to get out, distance yourself, ask for help. But if you're not, and you're just in a relationship where you're like trying to figure out if this person is like someone that you can continue to spend your life with and you feel confused and you feel misunderstood and you feel like your requests aren't being honored. Like I'm not saying life should be hard. I'm not saying relationships should be hard. I'm not saying that you should sign up for hard. What I want you to hear from this video is that life gets complicated sometimes. Even our best laid plans and our most beautiful manifestations are met with unanticipated contrast, if you will. And crap happens. You are your own unique individual person. I say this all the time, but you both have very unique experiences, methods of expression, coping strategies in difficult moments. You're two different humans trying to build a life together. There is going to be conflict. That's just the reality. Having said that, I think that we romanticize sort of two different extremes. There's this group of people who I used to like really be a part of. They're not like a group. They're just like, okay, just I'm rambling. I used to be the kind of person that really romanticized conflict. Yep. I romanticized conflict because I romanticized the reunion, you know, the movie star reunion that happens after conflict that is such bullshit that it's not actually real conflict resolution. Mm -mm. So I romanticized this like sort of tense, like drama filled relationship. Wow, that was a kid. 
there's a loud noise. I also think that there's this other end of the spectrum that we can romanticize too, this idea that like everything's gonna be easy and we're only gonna do the relationships that like come to us so easily in our twin flame. You know what I'm saying? Do you see how there are like two different sides? There's the person that like stays and creates drama and like stays in like crazy relationships. And then there's the person, and, and I've been both of these, you know, at, at different points in my evolution. Um, then there's the person who sort of is truly like walking away from anything that doesn't serve them. And so when relationships get hard or they get uncomfortable or they're called to be something, you know, different or rise to a specific challenge, then they're like, mm -mm, bye Felicia, that's not gonna happen. Obviously this tweet was talking about this side of the spectrum, you know, this 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 idea, this new idea of like self-love that sort of permeates my industry even. Girl, if it doesn't serve you, you leave that. And that's fine. I don't disagree with that. There are certain thought patterns, beliefs, habits, the concept is real you know, of, of walking away from what doesn't serve us. When we walk away from relationships because conflict is present and because it's hard and you feel misunderstood, but you love that person so much that you're like, God, I'm really gonna have to walk away from this because it's not serving me and I can't believe we couldn't figure this out. I love you. Don't do that because what you have to understand, okay? And, and, and what I want everybody to understand, the next level of intimacy that you are longing to unlock in your relationship. I'm not talking about physical intimacy. I'm not talking about your sex life. I'm not talking about anything that has to do with, you know, physicality at all. I'm talking about this intimacy that happens when two people exchange the most vulnerable parts of their soul, right? The next level of intimacy oftentimes that we're longing for is on the other side of resolved, healthy, Conflict. Also, there's a dangerous Pokemon next door over there. I don't know. Anyways, that was like a really long way of saying that. If you're in an abusive relationship, get out. If you're in a relationship with a person you love and it feels hard and complicated and you're not sure how to navigate this, pause. Just press pause before you walk away from the thing or the person or the relationship that is not serving you. Give me a call. <laughs> Set up a clarity call. I'll link it down below. There's so much kid yelling. I'm sorry, you can hear this in my headphones. We are a hot mess here at House Ferguson. I love you. Growth is on the other side. Growth is on the other side of conflict resolution. Don't be 50 and alone because you walked away from every relationship that didn't serve you. Okay, bye.